I want to give a little context on this before I get started. This video is based on some comments I received on the last video. The great American black man. He talks pro-black but moves pro-USA. You can see the thumbnail on the screen right now. He says, I'm a black American who has every opportunity to the American dream like everyone else. The problem with our people is that we allow these pan-Africans slash pro-blacks who are really socialist Marxists in disguise to gaslight us into thinking we have no place in this nation when this couldn't be further from the truth. There is no better nation than the one that we are in now. Africa is not our home because our ancestors were birthed right out of the soil of this continent called the Americas and nobody has a bigger claim to it than us. Here's the problem, bro. The American dream is a nightmare for most people. So whether or not we have equal access to it is completely irrelevant. You know, I get it that they have a good way of selling you on hope. I get that they make you believe that you can do it if you just try. But you have to understand that when you look before you at all of the broken glass in the road that, are the, that is the lives of shattered dreams, of shattered hopes, of shattered aspirations. When you look at this road of broken glass before you, these are all people that believed also that they can do it if they just try. Those people believed it too. And they tried. This brother with this pro-capitalist mindset. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't have anything. He's talking about possibilities. He's talking about potential. He's talking as if you really have your life in your hands. And this is just not the case. What? Young brother, if you're listening to this here, pro-blacks and pan-Africans are not holding you back. The system itself is holding you back. The inner workings and mechanisms of how this system is designed is holding you back. You are a black man in America, which means you are a member of the most despised and hated demographic in this country. They use us as, as the means to create division in society. There is no amount of pro-conservative talk that you can spew that's going to change the fact that you are a black man in America and that this system as it is right now is extremely hostile towards you. There's nothing you can say to change that reality. You can take sides for these people all you want. You can go to bat and repeat their talking points all you want. But at the end of the day, you are still a black man in America. And that accounts for something. You see, one of the problems I have, and I, I talk about this all the time with the so-called black people that's always blaming Pookie and Ray Ray and Shaniqua and Shanene for why we can't get up or what our problem is. There is no us or we in this madness outside of what the system forces on us. The only reason why we use this collective language like that is because this is how we are viewed systemically as a single group. But among ourselves, we are not really a single group. And this is the problem. That is just a fallacy. It's a myth. Whatever Pookie and Ray Ray am doing down there in the, in the ghetto is not why we can't get ahead as so-called black people. The system itself is why we can't get ahead as so-called black people. But the truth of the matter is playing that race card only makes you look stupid because white folks are in the same boat with us. Uh -oh. See, these people at the very top, they are racist in some ways, but they don't care about white people either. What? You could be white as snow. If you're not one of them, you're not one of them. They on some Kendrick Lamar type crap, you know what I'm saying? Not like us. If you not like them, then you not like them. If you're not one of them, you're not one of them. And this is how they function. Race doesn't really matter. Race only matters in so much as how they can use race to manipulate the masses. That's all. And that's what we are used for as black Americans. We are used to maintain this division so that they can always have a certain amount of white folks that's gonna always vote a certain way to maintain a certain status quo 
because they don't want things to change because of racial ideology. And, and no amount of, of repeating their talking points is going to change the fact that this is how they operate. Pro-blacks are not your problem, bro. The system that you worship is the problem. Nobody's stopping you from coming up except them, except the way the system is. If coming up and achieving this American dream was so easy, everybody would have it. It's not easy, and it's not a matter of who works harder to get it. It's not about who's willing to go the extra mile to get it. It has nothing to do with any of this stuff. It's just not that easy to so-called rise to the top. First of all, upper mobility is a fallacy in America. I mean, you got articles on this stuff. You ain't got to take the black man word. You got plenty of white articles on it. It's been exposed. I mean, I've been reading articles on the, on the myth of upper mobility for the last 15, 20 years. It's out there. What I find amazing is that we always got these young kids come up behind every generation that still repeat these same talking points while things have gotten progressively worse. See, y'all too young to know the difference between today and 30, 40 years ago. 50 years ago, everybody's retiring at 50 years old. They were done, bruh. They didn't need to work no more. Everybody had homes by the time they was 25. The homes only had a 10-year mortgage or 15. 15-year mortgage was considered a long mortgage. So in 10, 15 years, they paid for their homes and they didn't need to work no more. That's why they retired so young. Once you pay for your home, you got your home, you don't need to work like that no more. So when I hear you dudes talk this super-duper pro-capitalist type of talk, it, 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 it bewilders me, man, because I don't know what you're looking at. And when I hear y'all constantly blaming it on certain aspects of so-called black community they are the reasons why we can't come up it, no no they not this system that you have so much faith in is the reason why you can't come up this stuff affects you mentally you know you either blame yourself for why you can't get ahead or you start trying to point the finger at others and this is what they use black americans for in general they use us as the scapegoats for why everybody else can't come up and you see it even among ourselves how quick we are to blame other blacks for why we can't come up. Instead of looking at the fact that it's the system that's holding us back. We don't do that. We blame Pookie and Ray Ray. We blame Shaniko and Shanene. We blame, you know, uh, uh, liberals, you know. We blame uh, uh, progressives, you know, all this stuff. Nah, it's the system, bro. It's the system. We are not allies by choice and we don't need to be allies by choice. But we need to recognize that we are allies by force. We have a mutual enemy. And I'm not just talking about black people. I'm talking about all of us in this boat together, regardless of your race, regardless of anything else about you. We have a common enemy. And that enemy is the system. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, my name is Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Elf. So long.